everyone, it's Steve O'Brien with Entertainment City. Wonder Woman returns to the big screen next week, but you might not be so familiar with this version of her story. Meet Professor Marston and the Wonder Women. A person is most happy when they are submissive to a loving authority. Professor Marsden and the Wonder Women tells the story of Dr. William Marsden, his creation of Wonder Woman in 1941, and how his polyamorous relationship with his wife Elizabeth and Olive Byrne inspired the fictional character. It stars Luke Evans, Rebecca Hall, and Bella Heathcote, and their characters' experimentation with bondage and liberation ahead of their time. You guys are very close physically yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. We just hit it off. Our chemistry was just there from the beginning, and so when we had to do the the more risque moments, yeah. you know, and the bondage and the, all the other things which were funny. We enjoyed it. We made it real. We wanted to make sure that people understood that they was not just, this wasn't just their experimenting mm -hmm. sexually, but this is about three people that loved each other deeply. Do you think unconventional love like that, you can love more than one person that, like, fully invest into them? Until I'd read this story, then I probably would have said no. Yeah. But these three people are testament to the fact that it doesn't always work, but right. they did it. That's Wonder Woman's message as well. It's always been her message was love and acceptance. So, yeah, I'd hope that that would be a takeaway from the film. We'll have more from Luke Evans and Bella Heathcote next week. I would like a mango. They only grow in India. Well, I'm Empress of India, so I have one cent. I thought she was supposed to be dying. Another piece of history comes to the big screen in Victoria and Abdul. In the story of Queen Victoria's little-known and controversial friendship with an Indian clerk, Dame Judi Dench plays the elderly monarch, while British comedian and actor Eddie Izzard is almost unrecognizable as her son, Bertie. Melanie Ng asked him about it. You appear on camera, and you go, who is that? I know, 12 kilos I put on, I'm getting in and out of chairs was... It was just hard. Really, the size of me drove the, the whole movement and the physicalization of it. Bertie. Mother. You're spying on me. I love the balance between... You're, you're telling a very important story, but there's so much humor injected in it. I didn't realize it was going to be so funny. To the queen. To the queen. To the queen. To, the queen. Queen. to me. Victoria and Abdul is in theaters everywhere Friday. For Entertainment City, I'm Devo Brown.